mixed approach, uh, locking down certain age groups like over 55s and under 20s, or locking down on the weekends but opening up during the week. When, when you view the situation from Geneva, how does Turkey's scorecard and its strategy look? And I'm, I'm talking about the strategy for governments uh, to provide treatment if somebody gets infected or offer a vaccination when it becomes available. But to say that if you get infected, it's on you. In other words, you know, leaving the responsibility to protect oneself completely on the, in, on, on the individual. Is this a viable strategy? Thank you. Uh, thanks. Uh, so I, I, I will begin. I can't specifically speak to Turkey, although I'm looking at the numbers and, and they, it looks, it appears the transmission has, has been reduced to quite a low level. So that, that is good. I think one of the things I just want to mention is you mentioned the individual responsibility, as I just mentioned in my previous answers. Individuals have a responsibility, absolutely. Families have a responsibility. Communities have a responsibility. Governments have a responsibility. It isn't just at the individual level, although the individual level is incredibly important because the decisions we make, and if we could reduce our exposure, if we could reduce the possibility of us getting infected, that's, that's the start. But governments also have a responsibility um, to put in place responsible, constructive, cohesive, uh, clear national plans um, that look at this all of government, all of society approach, which focuses on the fundamentals finding active case finding, isolating cases, caring for cases, making sure that they have appropriate care in medical facilities, or if they can be managed at home, make sure that they are managed at home safely so that they don't pass the virus to others. Making sure contact tracing is being conducted um, consistently and comprehensively, and that contacts are quarantined so that they don't have the possibility to pass it to someone else if they are uh, infected themselves. To make sure that there's clinical care appropriate care for individuals depending on the severity of their symptoms. And this includes symptomatic treatment. It includes oxygen um, and respiratory support. Um, dexamethasone if they develop critical or severe disease for the most severe patients. Making sure that our health workers are trained and protected um, and so that when they care for patients that they're not uh, unduly exposing themselves to infection and a number of other a number of other things. So what Turkey has done and what other countries have done, you know, taking this approach, tailoring it to the needs of the country, the capacities of the, of the country, um, and being consistent in this application of these measures is really what is critical. Um, as the pandemic evolves, there may be situations where the virus could resurge. Um, and so the system that has been put in place for COVID that is built upon existing systems needs to really act quickly so that any of these clusters can be brought under control. We lost connection with Dr. Ryan. Oh, Dr. Elwood, did you want to add nothing? We lost connection with Dr. Ryan, but he's back now. Dr. Ryan, uh, would you like to add to that? Um, hi, Margaret. No, I, 